What's up, YouTube? Uh, you know, I know I've been on here a minute. Uh, I'm in school all day, and I'm working on my company and everything else, and you know, so still be in the street a little bit. Not as much because I go to school all day, so you know what I'm saying? But, you know, people been coming on here leaving stupid-ass comments or saying some gay-ass shit on my pages, and then when you go click on their pages, either the page is, uh, the page is blank, or they talking about, uh, some gay-ass shit, and, I ain't really gonna go that far with it. Yeah, actually, yes, I am. But they talk about bullshit. So, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got something to say or you don't like what somebody is saying, keep it moving. Why are you gonna come on their page talking shit? Like, that, you gonna say something to that person, then they gonna say something back to y'all. And they have to cast a doing this shit. You go click on their page and ain't nothing on their page. It's like a motherfucker just making a page just to come on YouTube and talk shit to a motherfucker. And then, uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I'm in school and everything else. This is one of my books, uh, web page design. This book was like thirty dollars. Then business law, you know what I'm saying? This book was like uh shit, I think hundred and twenty five dollars. I got the receipt right there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And this book was all mechanic, which I'm a licensed dealer, you know what I'm saying, but I don't work on cars. But I need to know shit so when shit break down, I always take my shit to the shop. Most of the time I take it to the uh, Mercedes or Chevy or whatever. But this book was like uh, like 150 You know what I'm saying? And I pay for school and everything else. You know what I'm saying? So it's all great. But um, yeah, it's like every time I turn around, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about that Soulja Boy and Bow Wow situation. But I'm like, I'm not even going to uh, speak on that shit because I think that shit was just... On both ends, they both uh, dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, why would y'all be trying to race two Lamborghini? I th if I put my money on anybody, I think both of y'all asses going back. I'm going to just keep it real. I don't think y'all got handles like that. Y'all both young. Y'all both inexperienced. Excuse me. I have saliva in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all is going to fuck up and back or kill each other over some stupid ass he say, she say shit. And neither one of y'all ain't really in the streets like that. And I see that Bow Wow video where he talking about, oh, uh, Soldier Boy won't come back to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Soldier Boy won't come back to Bankhead. First of all, let me address this like this. Soldier Boy is not a street cat. Bow Wow is not a street cat. So if somebody ran a Bow Wow house right now and did the same shit that they did to Soldier Boy, Bow Wow asked him to go back to Atlanta, going back to Bankhead. So he really needed to shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Because, you know what I'm saying? Him coming on there and saying Soldier Boy is not allowed to come back to Atlanta, if they ran in Bow Wow House and did the same shit to his ass, he won't even go back to Atlanta. I put my money on it. So, uh, that's what I'm going to say about that suit. I'm not really going to speak into it, but I think that comedy he made was real dumb as fuck. Because if the shoes in his, was in his boat, he wouldn't go back to Atlanta. He would be scared to go back to Atlanta too. Who he gonna get? Go get Jermaine Dupree? Come on, come on. Make people gonna laugh at him. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, yeah. I do wanna say that about that black card shit. Cause for these motherfuckers out here that he talking about, oh, I got the black card. Let me explain something to the people that don't know what that black card is. Cause I have one through Visa. And your credit score gotta be damn near high. It gotta be damn near like 800. You know what I'm saying? You can, seven, you can get away with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the American Express one. I have a Visa one. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't need to prove nothing to nobody or nothing. Because motherfuckers going to be trying to call me out and then I'll fuck around and just shut all the haters down. Because I really will stunt. I'm not a stunt person. But if it come down to it and motherfuckers keep talking, I'm going to pull a whole card and be like, now what? But yeah, I want to talk about that black card. For all these cats that don't know, when you got that black card, it's American Express. You got to spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. You got to pay an initiation of a um, of five thousand, and every year you pay a fee of twenty five hundred dollars for having that card. But they ain't tell you what he ain't telling you is when you got American Express. When you charge something on that American Express, you got to pay all that money back. It ain't like Visa or Mastercard where you could just charge something and you pay them a little bit and they ain't tripping. No, American Express don't work like that. You charge two hundred fifty thousand dollars on that card, you gotta give them the whole two hundred, and they charge interest on that shit. So you know what I'm saying? Bow Wow for even coming up on here saying that gay ass shit. You know what I'm saying? And he can't say I ain't. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Cause first of all, I've been living longer, way longer than Bow Wow, and you know what I'm saying? My credit been better than his probably long. You know what I'm saying? Cause it take average for five years to get your credit score 
a real good damn credit score. And you know what I'm saying? By what well, just now turning twenty two, that means he he his credit score is not eight hundred. It can't be. It takes five years. And if anybody wanna call me out and say online or I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, it takes actually between yeah, five years to get your credit score all the way up to the point where uh, you got damn near good credit. So all these cats on here talking about oh like uh who said that shit? Uh I think Tony Tony Yayo and a couple other motherfuckers on here talking about they got almost eight hundred credit score. It ain't happening. Unless you got a five year short five year credit history you're not gonna get no fucking 800 credit score. It's hard to get an 800 credit score. Mine is a seven something. Mine is a seven something. So, you know what I'm saying? These cats on here, they're telling all these fake ass lies. Then you're gonna pull a whole card and just make them look stupid. You might as well just come on here and tell people the real. But back to the black card, man. That shit ain't all what you think that shit is all about. Yeah, they get all that luxury shit like that, but American Express get it back. They get that money right back and they charge the interest off that money. It ain't like, uh, like I said, uh, MasterCard or Visa, where you can just pay them a little bit. No, you gotta give them that two hundred fifty thousand. And who in the fuck right mind is gonna be going to put down two hundred fifty thousand dollars every year? That's kind of dumb. You know what I'm saying? That's why Visa came out with a black card, where it's not as not as better as the American Express black card, but it's still cool. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta have damn near perfect credit. Perfect credit, but I just wanted to speak up on that shit real quick. I just wanted to let everybody know I'm doing cool. You know what I'm saying? And re I know in my couple of last video I said I was gonna get a haircut and whatever else. I was like, fuck it. I was going to school every day. I wasn't tripping. But you know what I'm saying? If I want to get a haircut every week, I could do it. It's just I'll be lazy half the time. You know what I'm saying? I should be going down. I can't just you know what I'm saying? I don't just let anybody cut my hair. So you know what I'm saying? When I can holler at my partner. Cause I got a couple of different barbers, but you know what I'm saying? A couple of them go to jail, a couple of them hard to catch up with, you know what I'm saying? It's, everybody just keeping it moving. Man, if all these, and I want to say all these cats out here, you know what I'm saying? That these haters coming on here talking shit to them, man. Y'all keep your head up and just say fuck these haters. Cause half these people that come on here talking shit on your pages ain't talking about shit. They doing bad. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't got to do bad. Get off your ass and hustle. Just like Juvenile said, get your hustle on. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever you're doing, get your hustle on. Stop trying to wait for unemployment check or trying to wait for this, this, that, this, or whatever else. Get your hustle on. Yeah, the comedy fucked up. Bush fucked up everything. Now we got Obama in office. He's trying to make shit right. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I just wanted to do this video real quick. And shout out to uh, everybody, man, that's doing their thing and everything else. You know what I'm saying? I go to school every day. But I just wanted to do this video real quick because I'm tired of these motherfuckers coming on here talking that bullshit. And I just wanted to address a couple of shit. Man, I think another thing, 50 Cent need to quit calling out all these other motherfucking rappers. Because first of all, his ass ain't in certain areas, Street T ain't going to come in. Because I know a couple of Street T that got ran up out of. You know what I'm saying? So, cities he got, got ran up out of. So, you know what I'm saying? Him calling out Rick Ross, I mean, come on, man. Who, who the fuck else you going to call out now? It ain't like if not everybody call it Rick Ross fat. I'm gonna keep it real. I like his music better. Than I like Fifty Cent music. And one of the comments I seen Rick Ross made when the last time Fifty Cent them had a plat uh, every album he didn't put out since he didn't started that shit with Young Buck then flop. Then flop. You know where he getting that money from? The, but he better keep selling that vitamin water. That's where he making his money from. He better keep selling that vitamin water. You know what I'm saying? When his first album came out, his first album was cool. His second one had a couple of tight songs. After that, the rest of that shit was garbage. Young Buck album was tight. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really li listen to a lot of uh, uh, East Coast music. No disrespect to the East Coast or nothing like that. I mean, I mostly listen to our music and everything else. I listen to different everything, but you know, a lot of these rappers come out with bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, man. Free Misco, man. That's one of the person I listen to. Misco E40. You know what I'm saying? Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. I, I got something. I forgot what I'm playing in my car right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? UGK, Too Short. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I'm listening to the Brat. Shit, the list goes on and on. I can't think of Alcaz. You know what I'm saying? I listen to TI. And all these motherfuckers said TI snitching and all that shit. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it is what it is. But I, I want to holler at everybody later on, man. I'm going to get back to doing my homework and shit. And I'm going to talk to everybody else later. But.